Jesus. Amen. So grateful. Hallelujah. Bow your heads, fall in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for this second chance. We thank you, Lord God, for this service on today. We ask that you be in the midst where two or three are gathered, Lord God, we know you are here, Lord. We ask that you move by your power, Lord God, from beginning to end. Touch the word, Lord God, that's going to come forth, Lord God, from the man of God, Lord God. Touch the praise and worship, Lord God, that we get into praise and worship, Lord God, to glorify and uplift your mighty name, Lord God. We magnify you, we glorify you in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Now we do not own the rights to the music, but we do own the rights to our praise. Amen. Amen. So we ask that you join in with us. Amen. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless the Lord. God. He's a peacemaking God. 
He's a protecting God. Come on, somebody. I know we outside, but we can still give God the praise. Praise Him when it's sunny. Praise Him when it's cloudy. Praise Him when it's raining. God's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh, bless God. Bless God. How many days we're already? Eight days in the year of 2022. And for that, we owe God a praise. I don't care how we feel it, we have a mouth. Amen. The miracle is in our mouth. Amen. You may not be able to raise your hands or pat your feet, but one thing you can do is open your mouth and give God a shout of praise. Come on, wake up here, somebody. Glory, come on, we need a praise right now. God, glory, God is good. And he's worthy to be praised. We made it, we made it. Hallelujah. For that, we ought to give God a shout of praise. Amen. I don't want the birds to cry out for me. I don't want the roaches to cry out for me. I don't even want my dog to cry out for me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Lord is an awesome God. Oh, he's a wonderful God. He's a wonderful God. I praise him. Amen. We want to encourage you. Amen. To keep on giving God the praise and trust his word. No matter what's going on, the word tells us we're living in perilous times. So we shouldn't be shaken by the things that we see and hear. Amen. Because Jesus is soon to come.
speak of this morning. A man of God. Amen. He has the five God burning up in him. We have been praying all week that the five God would be released from him into us. In the name of Jesus. I'm waiting on the word. I can't live without the word of the Lord. So it's in him that we live, we move, and we have our being. But the man of God is married. Amen. He is a pastor of the City Champion Church. I believe that's Riverdale, Georgia. And I have preached for him on Easter. And the devil just can't stop what God is doing. Uh, we had to move outside because of the virus. But I'm going to say this to the virus. Go back to hell, virus. In Jesus' name. Because we're going to find a way to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So I want you just to throw your hands up. I know it's cold. We won't be here long, but the man of God is going to preach the word of God. What I love about this young man, he is a worshiper. He is a praiser and can tap some drums up. So I want to present him uh, this morning that the Lord will release him to say what he would have to say to us. If you need to get out of your car and wave your hand, by all means, jump out, wave your hand, jump back in and get warm. But I don't want to keep him out in all this cold weather. Amen. But God is a good God. So I present to some and introduce to others the man of God for the hour in the person of Pastor Jonathan Marshall. Hear what the Spirit would say through the man of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll give him a mic. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord, everybody. I can't hear y'all. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right, I want to do this. Um, I don't know how to sing, but I'm going to sing. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all got to help me. you long but I'm not gonna hold back because we outside because the Lord is worthy isn't he not worthy come on y'all where my church at isn't he not worthy y'all got them horns and all that other stuff is he not worthy all right amen if I got up this early we gonna preach this morning all right um, um Romans 8 and 28 says and we know 
This is not for everybody, um, even in the midst of the pandemic. And we know that all things work together for the good of them who are called according to his purpose. Uh, Psalms 37, verse number 23. I'll get all the thank you, Jesus, for bishop and all that out of the way. But I want to go right into the word of God. I want you to put your hand on yourself. Say, I need a word from God. Tell somebody else, say, I'm outside to get a word from God. All right, um, Psalms 119, 105 says that the word, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light into my pathway. Psalms 37, 23 says the steps of a good man, I added, O woman, are, are, are ordered or established by the Lord and he delight in his ways. I want you to do me a favor if you can, brother, you're in your car or at home, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you are. I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you're still on the fastest route to victory. Tell somebody else, say, you're still on the fastest route to victory. All right. I do not know how the older people survived before we had a uh, GPS or before we had um, all the stuff on our phone that assist us um, where we are going. I, I'm old enough to remember MapQuest, how you had to um, get the directions out before you got somewhere or you were going to be lost. I remember leaving Douglasville trying to find a place in the perimeter that was tucked in the side and I got lost because I had no idea where I was going. And now we find ourselves in a time in our life that many of us do not know where we are going or we don't know the direction that we're going. But I stopped by a Noah's Ark Road to tell somebody that you may have no map, but you are not lost. And uh, before before we got GPS and the, and the other one that tells us when the police weighs that the police is there, um, we had to depend on the, the, the written directions and we had to turn at the right place uh, and sometimes we got rerouted. Now, I know some of us, when we get rerouted, because we like to know where we are going, uh, we get frustrated, but sometimes there is a blessing in the reroute. <laughs> We have cell phones now that has calculators and flashlights and banks and Bibles and phones all into one device. And, and sometimes we, even if you are from an area or not, I, I pretty much know my way around Atlanta. But there are times that I will map quest um, or I will, I will Google Maps a thing or I will ways a thing uh, to see how long it's going to take me. Uh, because for me, I don't like to wait. I know, I know many of y'all like to wait, but I don't like the way I like to get where I'm going uh, and I like to get there in a particular time uh, and oftentimes on my way somewhere I'm getting rerouted um, and in the reroute if you got a good phone uh, it recomputes the time to tell you if you have a longer time uh, or a shorter time uh, on your way to your destination uh, and many of you are frustrated because you are rerouted uh, but you're still on the quickest route uh, to victory Huh? Tell your neighbor, said I'm still on the quickest route to victory. <laughs> oh my God, there were times in my life, oh my God, the reroute saved my life. Huh? Have you ever been on 285 or 75 or 675 huh? right after an accident and it was bumper to bumper traffic huh? and you were not going anywhere? Huh? I read into your hearing, though, though the word of God is a light into your feet, a lamp into your feet, huh? and a light into your pathway. Huh? I want you to understand that nothing that we're going through, COVID, huh, is a surprise to God. Huh? That's why the Bible says, and we know, huh, that all things work together huh, for the good of them that who are called uh, according to his purpose. Huh? I may have been rerouted, huh, but the reroute saved my life. Uh, oh my God. Uh, 
and me and my wife have driven in Atlanta huh? and driving in Atlanta we saw fatalities uh, on the highway and, and driving we saw accidents where you gotta stop by and say Jesus, 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 uh, mercy, mercy, mercy huh? and you're frustrated that you're not in your destination yet huh? but you got to understand that the reroute huh, or, or the other longer time huh, is working out a far more patience huh, a weight of glory in your life uh, now, have you ever been uh, on your way? Some of us, oh, I'm going to lose about 30 of y'all in this moment. Huh? But have you ever been uh, on your way somewhere? Huh? We like to go to this restaurant in the perimeter called Memphis Barbecue. Huh? And we better eat it today because the fans start tomorrow. Huh? But we, 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 um, we like to go to restaurants. And sometimes in my excitement, huh, I make my turn uh, too early. Huh? And I know y'all like to blame the devil for everything. Huh? But there were times in my life I was rerouted huh, because I was anxious for something. Huh? There were times in my life I was rerouted huh, because I didn't understand the plan of God for my life. Huh? For I know the plans I have for you. Huh? Plans of peace and not of evil. Huh? To bring you. I didn't say I was going to make you get there on your own. Huh? I was going to GPS you to your expected end. Huh? But because I didn't know the hows. Huh? I didn't know the whys and I didn't know the ways. Huh? I didn't know what God was doing. Huh? Why y'all looking at me like I'm crazy, huh? So what I did was I took it upon myself, huh, to get myself to a particular place, huh, and I turned too early, huh, or I wasn't paying attention on my phone, huh, and I turned too late, huh, and I got rerouted all over again, huh, and I had to go back, huh, and do the same thing that I, that I just did, huh, because I was hasty in my spirit, huh, but even in the reroute, huh, God said, I'm gonna get glory, huh, out of every time you turn too early, huh? I'm gonna get glory, huh? Out of every time you mess up, huh? I'm gonna get glory, huh? Out of every time you charge me foolishly, huh? I'm gonna get glory, huh? Cause you didn't know where I was taking you, huh? Now this is the beautiful thing. Now this is the beautiful thing huh, about a GPS system. Huh? The GPS system goes before you huh, and it already computes every accident. Huh? It goes before you huh, and it tells you every hiccup. Huh? And if there's going to be a traffic jam, huh, all you see is a red. Huh? You ought to thank God huh, that you was on your way going the wrong way huh? and it rerouted you. Oh my God, you gotta understand, beloved. Oh my God, you gotta, you gotta understand that even in the reroute, you're still on the fastest route to your destination. What I love about God is the Bible says His word will never return back to Him void, but it will accomplish the thing that I wanted to do. If you go to the book, if you go to the book of Exodus, the Bible declares it much like this. The Bible Bible said that Moses huh, told the children of Israel, huh, he said, I'm telling you this next miracle huh, has nothing to do with you, huh, but he's going to bless you for his name's sake. Huh. I want you to understand huh, that there's somebody that knows you've been rerouted. Huh, there's somebody knows that you got on charted course. Huh, but God says, I'm already going before you. Huh, and because my name is on the line, huh, I'm still going to make sure you get to your destination. Huh, for I know the Bible said that the suffering huh, of this present moment or hour huh, is not worthy huh, to be compared huh, with the glory huh, that's going to be revealed. Huh. So while I'm driving, huh, he's revealing his glory. Huh. While I'm pressing the gas, huh, he's showing me another side of him. Huh. While I'm on my way, huh, he's taking stuff off of me. Huh. And that's why the, y'all ain't ready for good preaching. Huh. That's why the Bible says huh, that after he acts huh, uh, I'm coming for uh, what you go. I want you to understand. Huh? Now, Bishop, this may not be their word, huh? but this is your word. Huh? Give me one second, Sister Janet. Huh? This may not be their word, huh? but this is my word. Huh? Because in the reroute, huh, you might feel like it's going to take you longer huh? to get where you're going. Huh? But God says, I know how to speed up the times. Huh? The Bible declares that one day, huh? and y'all with my Bible people, huh? that one day is like a thousand years, huh? and a thousand years is just 
just like one day. Huh? And every now and then, huh, you have to look in your rearview mirror, huh, and on the bottom of the mirror, huh, it said their objects are closer than they appear. Huh? And I come to tell somebody huh, that you're closer than what you thought. Huh? If you look on that mirror, huh, before you take that turn, huh, you better look again because that car is closer. Huh? And I know you've been rerouted, huh? but I came here to tell you, huh, God said your miracle huh, is closer than it appears. Huh? God said your breakthrough huh, is closer than it appears. Huh? All you got to do is look on the, on the message. Huh? It says objects huh, are closer. Huh? Miracles huh, are closer. Huh? Coming out, huh, it's closer. Huh? Exodus huh, is closer. Huh? Next level huh, is closer. Huh? New anointing huh, is closer huh, than it appears. Huh? Tell somebody, huh, my next level huh, is closer huh, than it appears. Huh? Somebody say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you, they said, I'm on the fastest route. Uh, some of y'all are discouraged, huh? And some, and I'm done, y'all, huh? Because I, I, I'm done, y'all, huh? Some of y'all are discouraged, huh? And you're acting like some big crybabies, huh? Because you don't understand, huh? That the Bible declares that much like this, huh? That God, huh? I got to do that better, huh? That God, huh? Is not a man, huh? That he shall lie, huh? Neither is he the son of man, huh? That he shall repent, huh? When you put it in the GPS, huh? There is a destination, huh? And while you're driving, huh? You may pass some accidents, huh? That was a part of the plan, huh? While you're driving, huh? You may have to get in one lane, huh? That was a part of the plan, huh? While you're driving, huh? You might suddenly have to hit the brakes, huh? Because you weren't paying attention, huh? But that's a part of the plan, huh? While you're driving, huh? You might have to use the bathroom, huh? That was a part of the plan, huh? Y'all know y'all be late for work, huh? While you're driving, huh, you're telling your boss that the line is long, huh, and that's the Starbucks line, you ain't lying, huh, you telling your boss that the line is long, huh, that was a part of the plan, huh, and what happened was, huh, that I'm on my way somewhere, huh, and my GPS ain't gonna turn off, huh, until it gets me to my destination, huh, and every now and then, huh, your GPS are at you, huh, are you still going to this destination, huh, cause I wanna be clear, huh, on where I'm taking you, huh? And God told me to tell you, huh? He said, every now and then you gotta look down, huh? And when you look down, huh? Heaven said, do you still want to go to this destination, huh? And what destination is that victory, huh? What destination is that joy, huh? What destination of that is overcoming, huh? What destination of that is new anointing, huh? I'm done, y'all, huh? But there's some of y'all at the sound of my voice, huh? You ain't stunned no shoes, huh? You ain't stunned no man, huh? You ain't stunned no woman, huh? You ain't stunned no car, huh? But in 2020, ooh, huh? All I hear you saying is get me to the destination, huh? Of more of God, huh? I want more of God, huh? I want to walk like you, Lord. I wish I could preach you, huh? I want to talk like you, huh? I want to act like you, huh? And however I got to get there, huh? If there's some bricks in the road, Huh? I'm going to learn the lesson huh? Because I'm on my way somewhere huh? And I'm going to places huh? In God huh? This ain't for everybody huh? But God told me to tell you huh? He said there's places in me huh? That I want I want you to have it huh? Bad enough that you want to have it huh? The Bible declares huh? That there was a man huh? And his name was Moses huh? And Moses said God I want to see your glory huh? And what the Bible declares huh? God told Moses huh? He said, no man has ever seen me huh, and live. Huh? And so God said, I'm going to pass by huh? and I'm going to show you my hind parts. Huh? And in my hind parts, huh, you're going to be able to write Genesis, huh? Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, and Numbers. Huh? And the Bible declares huh, that God passed by huh? and Moses got a revelation. Huh? I know some of y'all feel like huh, God's giving you his tale of the kids. Huh? But even in his tale of the kids, huh, there's a revelation in it. Huh? Even when you can't pinpoint him, huh? God still saying something, huh? Even when you can't feel him, huh? He's still saying something, huh? Y'all want me to be quiet, huh? And so I will, huh? But stay on the route, huh? You don't know where you're going, huh? You don't know what's ahead of you, huh? You don't know what's the, the stop, huh? But God told me to tell you, huh? Stay huh? where you are, huh? And I, huh? I'm gonna get to where I'm going, huh? That's my job, huh? I got a place, huh? That I'm trying to take you, huh? And 
Somebody say yes. Stay with me. I'm going to get you there. Somebody say yes. I'm still on the fastest route to victory. I want you to scream it out. I know we outside, but the Bible says the earth is the Lord, and the trees and the birds are going to agree with us, and they're going to take it right to God here. Huh? Tell your neighbor, say, I'm still on the fastest route. I'm still on the fastest route to victory. To victory. The steps of a good man. I ain't going to leave the woman out. The steps of a good man or woman yeah. are ordered of the Lord. Yes. All right, all right. And I know you feel like I got this. And some of us are in the predicament. I just got to be a pastor. Just give me 35 seconds. I'm going to get right off it. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to quit it. Um, but some of us are in the predicament that we are because you always got it. Um, but the Bible asks us the question, how can a man know his ways? Right, that's mm. that's the David asks the question, who is man that thou are mindful of him? Mm. If I make my bed in hell, there I'll find you. Where y'all at? Take on the wings of the morning, there I'll find you. Go to the uttermost parts of the sea, there I will find you. So how can I know my ways? I don't know where I'm going, so I'm relying on my GPS. Ain't nobody ever got lost following them. Oh, I wish I had a church. Bishop, I feel, I feel this thing. Ain't nobody ever got lost following them. The children of Israel was on their way somewhere. They had a 13-day journey that turned into 40 years because they started doing their own thing. Somebody had common sense and wrote the song, I have decided to follow Jesus. I don't know where I'm going. And every time I think I know where I'm going, I miss my turn. So I'm going to rely on the GPS till I get there. Who is the GPS? God, he got me. I want to tell some of y'all this. Y'all, this is a one-day revival, right? This is a one-day revival, right? I want to tell some of y'all in this next season, if y'all don't get nothing else that I say tonight, God said, I'm not sending an angelic host to see about you. He said, I'm coming myself. Y'all don't want no revival. God said, it's season. Listen, 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 listen. That this will be okay for Michael and Gabriel and Raphael and all the other war angels that we don't know nothing about. But God says, because you've been faithful, I'm coming myself. I'm done after this one. We read the story. We read the story. Because even in the dungeon, he led me there. Where can I go? What can I do to hide from your presence? Even in the dungeon, he led me there. So Paul and Silas, Paul and Silas had an appointment with jail. How did I end up here? The Bible said no man comes into the Lord unless he draws them. Satan on God. Satan had to go get permission from God to inflict Job because the Bible said that there was a hedge around him. I'm so glad I didn't pay this up because I ain't got no money. Um, he said there was a hedge around him. He couldn't just roll up on him. So even if you're in jail, God led you there. Some of y'all are despising your seasons. Don't fall in love with the season. Fall in love with the lesson. It was, they, 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 they don't preach like this, but this is how I grew up. They used to say, it was good for me that I had been afflicted. Because now I know that if I follow him, he has it in for me. It's a one-day revival, right? And I got to go. I got one more thing for you. The Bible said that there, you know what? I'm going to crank up one more time and then I'm going to be done. All right? You ready? Uh, the Bible declares that there were two boys. Huh? One by the name of Paul huh? and one by the name of Silas. Huh? And the Bible said that they got down there huh? and they were locked in jail. Huh? Every now, I want y'all to hear this part. Huh? Every now and then that you're in your affliction. Huh? Not for what you did wrong, huh? but you're in your jail for what you did right. Huh? The Bible declared that there was a girl huh? that dealt in devonation. 
situation huh? and she got on Paul's nerves huh? uh, for three days she said come see a man huh? that told me all that I did huh? but Paul said something's off here huh? and the Bible said that when the people huh, couldn't make no money off of no more huh? the Bible declares huh? that they put him down in the jail huh? now what you gonna do at midnight huh? when you've been rerouted huh? to something that's not favorable huh? what you gonna do at midnight huh? when all the odds are not in your favor huh? what you gonna do at midnight huh? when you're rubbing two nickels together huh? but the Bible declares huh? that at midnight huh? one starts singing a song huh? and the other one starts praying huh? can you have praise and worship huh? when you've been rerouted huh? can you have praise and worship huh? when you don't know where you are huh? and the Bible declares huh? the Bible declared that they start singing huh? and when they start singing huh? the Bible said that they experience huh? jailhouse rock huh? they the jailhouse started rocking huh? and all my life huh? when I heard this text huh? they kept saying that God huh? was trying to get Paul and Silas out huh? I beg to differ huh? God was trying to get in huh? I'll tell you something huh? that if you follow the reroute huh? no matter where you are huh? God said I'm coming huh? and I'm coming to rescue you huh? somebody say it yeah. I'm done. For years I heard the text preach about my theology. My theology was they worship good enough. So God said, let me get in. They worship good. Let me let me some of y'all. The first thing that goes, I don't know, I, y'all, when we say revival, I feel like the saints of God should be revived. The first thing when we start going through, the first thing that you shut up is your mouth. The first thing you stop lifting is your hands. Uh, but that's why David said, I will bless the Lord. <laughs> your spouse talking to you, what's wrong? Nothing. Your kids talking to you, what's wrong? Nothing, I just don't want to be bothered. You crazy, I will bless the Lord at all times. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and lifted him out of all of his troubles. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord, I would have fainted unless I lived to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Even in the rude route, wait, I say on the Lord, and he shall strengthen your heart. Do me a favor, lift your hands so we can go. You're still on the fastest route to victory. If you don't change your perception, you will see this season as punishment and not preparations. He saved your life. There was a man texting on 285. So he shot you to 20. Have you ever been on your way somewhere and missed your turn? And you got real frustrated? Or you came to church, they tell me that I keep the people hostage in church. But sometimes I talk a little longer so they can miss the accident outside on Highway 85. There's always backlash after God comes to do a thing. And while you're frustrated, God made you sit there a little longer so you're not T-bone. Yes, yes, you missed the robber at the store up the street because he rerouted you. I'm mad. That, that's our theme for the year. That's how our theme. God rerouted me. And I'm okay with the, with the reroute. I have decided to follow Jesus. I don't know where I'm going. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. For three of y'all, this is your prophetic word. God said I didn't bring you out here to let you die. I've been leading people. That's my job. And I'm going to lead you where you need to go. If you trust me, I'm going to bring you to a place. 
And you're going to say there was no way that I would get here on my own. Victory. I want to. I want to. I want to give y'all this because I didn't get to it on my notes. You're still on the fastest route to victory. What's victory? I made it without a scratch. I made it. I made it. I made it. Amen. I might have came for three people, but I made it. Some of y'all are eight days into the new year, and you already depressed. Life ain't going like I wanted to go. I'm still on the fastest route to victory. Where he leads me, I will follow. For he knows the way that I take. And it's the part that we hate. And after he tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. Put your hands in the air so we can get out of here. Help me. You know this way. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. I'm old, don't just be all the way. All the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you. Thank you. All the way. One more time. Let Jesus. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. shut up heaven because he got sick of us and the people had to go off what God said last mm. he said enough to bring you over yes. even if you don't feel the goosebumps he's trying to mature you yes. Say that. I don't feel the spirit no more when I go to church baby that was for a baby in Christ now you got to step into the know I know him to be a provider yes. I know him to be a healer. I know him to be a... If I never get another goosebumps, I know him. Hallelujah. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. I ain't coming out there. It's still COVID. Take me soft, my woman of God. Put your hands in the air. Can't touch you today, but I want you to touch him. The Bible said that the earth is his footstool. And no better place to be than outside. But Pastor, why won't my life line up? Because he's rerouting you. This is the part that we miss. The Bible says, if a man's ways please the Lord. It's not about what you want, but it's about his will. Put your hands in the air. 30 seconds, I want you to talk to him. And tell him, I give you permission to lead me. I give you permission to lead me to victory. Y'all think I'm talking about death. I'm not talking about being in a hurry to die. But there is some enjoyment God going to give us in earth. John said, I came that you might have life and have life more abundantly. It's cold outside. You done been in worse predicaments. Come on, but he old. You old in worship. You old in worship. You old in worship. Come on, come on. I will not leave this church with an attitude. This is revival. Y'all got the right revivalists. I will not leave this church today without my mind being changed. I will not. I will not. I will not. You care about me. You care about me. You care about me. And you said that you will perfect everything that concerns me. Come on. I give you permission to lead me. 
The pastors don't know how to lead the churches. Should we be outside or inside? This pandemic is frustrating everybody. Your job got schizophrenia, you hybrid, then you gotta come into the office. Now they talking about sending you back home. Your money is confused. Some of y'all do Uber. That's your part-time job, DoDash, all this stuff. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy, but some of y'all afraid to do stuff because you don't know how life is gonna turn out. But God said I'm still gonna reroute you to victory. Oh my, God. Thank you. my second income has been hit because I don't want to put my children at risk. But I trust you. Come on, anybody. Come on, come on. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I feel him. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When the wicked and COVID came to eat up my flesh, it stumbled and fell. No, a, a, a whole shall a camp go around. This one thing have I desired of the Lord. That thing shall I seek out, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord forever. To inquire in its temple. Come on, y'all. 30 seconds. Y'all get tired too fast. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm done, but I promise you, this is the most important part. This is the most important part. My hands are lifted. I'm saying, God, help me. Yes, Lord. I love it. Trust me. Come on, 30 seconds. I'm not going to say nothing else. I want you for 30 seconds. Close your eyes. Outside and cry out. If the little boy did it so fast, he closed his eyes. Would you close your eyes? Would you close your eyes? Would you close your eyes and worship him? We going to get in y'all cars. We going to let y'all go. We need your money first, but we going to let y'all go. But listen, God, I need you. Don't leave me by myself. I don't know how to get to where I'm going, so don't leave me by myself. I don't know how to get there, so don't leave me by myself. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Don't leave me by myself. 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 Where my spiritual people at? Don't leave me by myself. Don't leave me by myself. I just feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Don't leave Honda, Yamando, Yamanda. Yamanda, 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 Yasoria. Don't leave me by myself. Don't leave me by myself. Don't leave me by myself. I don't know how to turn my mind off. I don't. I don't know how to do that. So don't leave me by myself. Some of y'all are fine till you get by yourself. My Lord. I'll never leave. I'll not see leave you. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. I'll I'm going to get this out of my hand. I see three churches represented here today. Three. Every, whatever ministry, whatever ministry that you're a part of, I want you to lift your hand to, raise, uh, to, to represent your ministry. I'll give you the word of the Lord. If you're a part of a church here, I want you to lift your hand for your ministry. The Lord says that another wind is about to hit our houses and that we have to make ready for the people that's coming. People are afraid. And even though they were analytical before, they're going to find their place in the house of God. Yes. For the people, your charge is to not be suspicious of everybody that God sends in the room. My God, amen. It cannot be us four and no more because God is going to send people. They go, how you under that so I, I know what I feel. God said another wind is about to hit this house. People are going to join this church. I, I went to South Carolina. I told Apostle Clark this. That man called me. I got the screenshots. And he said, you prophesied to me that another wind was coming to this church. And people have started joining this church. People are once again coming to this ministry. For the people that are here. For the people that are here. People are about to come to that ministry. People are on their way to that ministry. People, your job. It's not to the police, the people. 
is to love the people. It cannot be us four and no more. Because the Bible said upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. If I be a real man of God, they're coming, y'all. And they are afraid and they're going to have odors. Some of them going to be um, some of them going to be corporate America, but they're going to come with their hands lifted like I need you, God. They're going to come right out of church and start smoking cigarettes. Just leave them alone. I'm not telling you to indulge in their stuff. I'm telling you the Bible said that they, unless the Lord fill the house, they that labor, labor in vain. You're going to have to do a little discipleship and a little teaching, but they're on their way. The word of the Lord for the churches is go back to the basics. Don't try to go, don't go out in the moon. Don't try to go down to the bottom of the sea and be deep. Teach them about salvation. I'm telling you what I feel in my spirit. Teach them about sanctification, salvation, stewardship, love. The simple stuff. And before you pull up the church, they're going to be on the parking lot. Because somebody won't go. People that are part of this ministry, you're going to have to change your countenance. You can't just look like you had a fight with the devil or even if you pull on the parking lot You're going to have to smile when you're getting out your car because they're going to go based off your cue I prophesied today that the four winds That winds will hit our ministries I prophesied that our people are coming And they don't want God I prophesied that they're going to be standing room in our churches And the Lord says that he is going, and if I be a real man of God, I want y'all to mark this down. God says, I'm going to protect and I'm going to sustain every ministry that's really mine. Even if the offering is low, don't worry about it, I got you. Even if there's not a lot of money that's coming in on Sunday mornings, don't you be in a worry and hurry to have church. Because people don't know how to give when we get home. God says, I'm going to sustain those ministries. I'm God and I do what I want to. Will the real ministry stand up? I'll put this mic down. 30 more seconds. Can you give him the fruit of your lips? I did good. It's just 11.04. Give him the fruit of your lips. Come on. It is well. I've been looking for you. It is well. I'm sitting down with this. With my soul. With Up in there. Come on, somebody. 
Come on, somebody, give God praise. Give God the praise and give him the glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what Deacon Young tried to say, but say it and go on, baby. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ain't God wonderful? Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Anybody out there need to get saved with a message like that? Just get on out of your car and come to Jesus. Or if you're sitting in your car and you're in a backslid position, just come on to Jesus. Amen. He is a way maker. Hallelujah. If you're sitting in your car and you need a hook up with this church that's hooked up with Jesus, come on up. We'll do that too. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Pastor. It was an awesome word from God. Amen. We have drinks out there, but I think next week we're going to have to have coffee and hot chocolate if it's cold like this. Amen. But we thank God for Pastor Marsh. He did, the Lord did use you, son. Amen, amen. And we received your word. And you got caught up in, I think, Virginia or Washington. But God put you there for a reason. You couldn't come any faster until it was time for you to come. And then I saw again when you were here, God had released you to come. So we thank God for what God is doing. Elder Coleman is coming. And he's getting ready to lift our offering. I'm going to come back and tell us about the fast. Amen. You hit it on the nose. We do start tomorrow. But we're doing another kind of fast. The fast that God put in my spirit for Son of Hope. So as Elder come, let's get ready and prepare to give. Amen. 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 Let me watch. Let me give you Amen, amen. Y'all go ahead and give God another praise for that awesome word of God on today. Amen, amen. That was mediocre, but if you are excited that you have been revived and you know God is leading you, let me hear you. Shabbat the Lord. You got 10 seconds. Let me hear you. Go up and Shabbat the name. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you so much for that word. We are going to go ahead and move into our offering service. Our deacons and officials are moving. If you desire to have an offering envelope, please stick your hand out of your window. We'll make sure we get one to you expeditiously. If you are making out a check, please make sure you make it payable to the Center of Hope. We do have our Givelify option available. And we also have capital C. Capital O, Capital H, Jonesboro. We do appreciate everything that you are doing for this ministry. You out there in the internet land, thank you so much for everything that you do for our ministry, all the support. We, we continuously pray for you as you continually pray for us, and thank you so much. We'll give you guys about 30 seconds, and then we'll keep going. Thank you. 
Father God, we just bless you. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come together and sow seed into this ministry, Father God. Lord God, will go up keep up this house. We pray, Lord, the seeds that were sown will open the door, Lord God, for people to come in, Lord God, so that we may witness and win souls for your kingdom. Father God, we pray that each and every person that let it return to them 30, 60, and 100 fold. Father God, we have sold our seed. We trust you. Now, Father God, do what only you can do. Now, Lord God, we bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Lord, everybody, haven't you been revived? Uh, she do that. I want to go over the fast that would start on tomorrow. Now, this is Center Hope Fast. It's not Center a City of Champion or New Birth or whoever. This is what the Lord placed in. happiness of the episode so you should have gotten that you all, all the fasting information your email you need to make sure that you fill out a card with your Starting in tomorrow, our fast will start January the 10th through the 13th. Uh, this fast will consist of more than reframing from food, but we're adding prayer, scripture, and limiting our time on, on Facebook, television, and using the cell phone. Amen? So on January the 10th through the uh, that is is we read a day and that that's your time you select the time you want to do it but for that particular seven days you're only reading the Bible you Now, oh, Jesus, and from um, uh, TV, you're looking at in the word of God and we're going to we've spent so much time on our cell phone so we did that 
and you select the time. Amen? Now, on January the 24th through the 30th, seven days. We're omitting one meal and we'll release our worship and we can be lunch, breakfast, or dinner. Uh, you, uh, we're praying for for self exam. We'll not examine no in our own lives. On January 26th, uh, to 6 p.m., you don't, you're not until 6 p.m. of our nation on January the one meal and we are and for the protection then on January From 6 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock praying for on Sunday, January the 30th, 20 uh, a.m.